then? James DeGaulle, Olympic gold medalist and I'm beating a professional boxer from London that I've got my next fight in a couple of weeks. I'm very much go training hard and I can't wait. And uh, just under a year ago, you uh, went to Buckingham Palace and you, you got an MBE. MBE, I got to meet the Queen, shake her hand, a bit nerve-wracking, but a uh, fantastic experience. What were your mum and dad doing when you were winning the Olympic gold medal in Beijing? Uh, they were in Cyprus. Yeah, they were in Cyprus chilling on the beach, sunbathing while I was in the ring in Beijing, winning the gold medal. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, tell a lie. No, no, I'm lying. My mum was on the beach, yeah, in Cyprus, and my dad was in the cupboard in my house. So he wouldn't watch because he's a little girl, because he gets nervous and stuff like that. And it was Olympic final, the biggest fight of my career so far. And he was in the cupboard. Could have you just gone into a different room or a different know, house? I know, it has to be difficult. He's like that. Have you ever had this done to you before and what's it feel like? Cold, gooey, uh, nice. This is an impression mixture that we use to take a 3D mould of James' suit. And when it's set to a rubber, which we'll do in the next minute or two, then um, his feet will literally pop out and that positive. The negative is left with pouring plaster and clearing positive. The rubbers then pull the work and the positive will be used to create whatever piece uh, they decide they're going to have for the 2012 Olympics when that comes around. And what else do we know about James the girl? What do you like to get up to in life? I do train very, very hard, but when I've got when I've got my spare time, I like to socialise, I like to go out, I, I chill with my mates, I watch a bit of TV, watch boxing. Um, I go out to the cinema, yeah, I go out and have a drink. I don't mind going out and a little booty and that. It's shopping, I love shopping. Yeah, clothes shopping, love it. Favourite boxing films and why? Do you know what? I like Million Dollar Baby, a nice good thing. Maybe maybe shed a little tear in that. I like Raging Bull as well. What a film, Robert De Niro, fantastic actor. Uh, Ali was a bit like, it got a bit too deep for me, like a bit like, where well, I looking for? I know it got a bit thick, but actually the boxing scenes and all that were great. But yeah, probably Million Dollar Baby, yeah. You haven't mentioned Rocky. Oh, Rocky, yeah, <laughs> damn it, look at that. Every fighter likes Rocky. My favourite Rocky is probably three and then four. No, sorry, four is the one with Drago, yeah, four. What CDs have you got in your car? I've got lots of CDs in my car. I like all different kinds of music, from funky house, electro house, to even things like uh, The Fray, Oasis. I like everything. You'll be shocked if you went through my car now and went through my CD collection, you'll be shocked. We tried to get the 80 class of uh, Olympians and Paralympians, uh, which is gold medal uh, winning uh, athletes from as far back as the uh, games in 1948. Uh, the campaign really is to recognise the, the sporting achievements of all these athletes. Um, and also, the National Lottery is obviously raising a lot of money in 2012, as 2.2 billion goes towards 2012. But it's all about recognising the uh, achievements of our, of our fantastic government, uh, Olympians and Paralympians. And uh, we hope to exhibit these cuts once they've uh, all been done in the lead up to and during the initial 2012 games. What's it like having your mum as your manager? Oh, it's great. She's always wanted to give up work. And uh, once I've come back from the Olympic Games uh, and turned professional, she's giving up work. So her son's paying their wages now. So she has to do what I say. So it's been, uh, yeah, it's nice, it's nice. And my mum's my manager, is fantastic. So she spoils me anyway, so she does everything for me. Great. And tell us a story behind why you're called Chunky. Uh, I'm called Chunky because when I was when I first started boxing, I walked in the gym and my trainer called me Chunky because I had a big belly, a pair of little tits, and I was a big fat face. So ever since that day, it stuck. So in five years' time, what are we going to be saying about James DeGale? Middleweight, super middleweight, light heavyweight champion in the world. Please, but everything goes all right. I'm going to go down in history, and that's on a serious note. So remember, I've said that. This interview for what is it? Sports in sport in or sports? Sports vibe. Sports.co.uk. Sports James Chunk Big Future World Champion. Going down history.